In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you where you can get really good free web hosting. It's so good that it's better than a lot of the paid providers have seen out there. You get PHP, MySQL, you administer it all with cPanel, and it's not all locked down. It gives you the freedom to install many of the most popular web applications out there. You can install WordPress, PHPBB, and Joomla. So let's take a look. We're going to head on over to 000webhost.com. We're going to sign up for a free web hosting package right now. That's the URL for you, www.000webhost.com. The reason we're using this service is because of the truly great features they've got, even better than a lot of the paid services out there, and this is free. So 250 megabytes disk space, 100 gigabytes transfer month, PHP with MySQL database support. Very important if you want to do anything outside of the boundaries of simple HTML and JavaScript. It's also got cPanel control panel, which is the most popular content management system out there. Uh, GoDaddy makes you pay extra on top of their existing charges for it. And it's also got Fantastico, which is an auto installer for many of the most popular web apps that you can put on your website. Click the Order Now tab. You can either have here your own domain name that you've already registered and point to the free hosting service here, or you can have a, a free subdomain here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make it alexwest. 890m.com. That's how you're going to access my website when we're done here. It's a subdomain of their domain. That's what you get for free. Okay, so Alex West and my email. Uh, a lot of people give fake information here, but of course you're going to be receiving confirmation emails to you, to this email address, so it's got to be valid email. Password here is the password you're going to be using to access your website via cPanel content management system. So uh, upper and lowercase letters and numbers here so people can't guess it. And finally, the last thing you need to do is uh, type in this CAPTCHA here. This is to prevent bots from signing up their site. They need to know people are actually signing up. Create my account. What I get here is a message that says, I need to go and check my email address because I have just received a confirmation link I need to follow. Uh, when you get this kind of message, always make sure you check your junk box because it might have fallen in there, but um, it was okay for me. I got it in my regular email. So let's hear here. Just call, follow the confirmation link. And it says my account's almost set up here. Uh, it's giving me some some specific information here, but I don't need to keep track of this just yet because I'm going to get a more fully-fledged email later on here that has all the specifics. All I really need, really need to do is click on the Set Up My Account button here. I've entered a queue. There's some people ahead of me that are also waiting to have their um, request fulfilled. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit there, and there we go. I'm, my my account is now active. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. It says that I have received another email that I'm going to have to read here. So let's go over to my email account here again check your junk box because it might have gone in there. For me, it lands in my inbox. So, indeed, there's my second email from 000webhost.com. And let's see. It says, we'd like to inform you that your account is active. Oh, great. Okay, so here's the specifics here. It's, uh, oh, what's that? One thing is, it might take up to 24 hours for their name servers to catch up. So if you can't access right away, you might have to wait a little bit. Okay, here are the specifics. It's got my e my my actual URL, it's got how to access cPanel, username, password, and finally, FTP, how I will access my site via FTP. So we're going to do the obvious thing here. We're going to copy in the URL from my website. We're going to paste it over into a new web browser, and let's see what we got here. So mine worked right away. Sometimes you have to wait 24 hours again, but mine worked right away. Okay, so what it says here is delete index.php. Well, that's what we're looking at right now. They've, given, they've written this index.php. It does little more than give me a welcome message and tell me what files and folders are already existing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to access my site via cPanel, control panel, content management system so that we can actually really see what's going on inside my site. So it's also uh, got my username and password there. I'm simply going to copy and paste that over. And there we go. I'm in cPanel now. Uh, there's a little message here. If you're a first-time user, you might want to go through some of their tutorials, but you can do that any time. So I'm saying no for now. I'm going to go straight to File Manager, which is and there the web root. Let's go in there so that I can 
actually see the files and folders that are in the public HTML folder that are this the publicly accessible folder via the URL. So that's what I was just looking at there, index.php file. They told me to delete it. I can if I want, but right now I just want to see what is in it. They, they scripted all this, not me. And down towards the bottom here is that welcome message that was in there as well. Remember that, it says your website is up and running. Well, hey, I'm going to do the obvious thing here. I'm going to actually see if I can append some text to it and see if it'll come up. So added that, saved it. Now I'm going to go back over to my website. There's that index.php file. And look at that, Alex West typed this. See, I can do whatever I want through cPanel already. I can completely get rid of the index.php file and start building my own website if I want. So the next thing I'm going to show you here is that uh, you can go down in cPanel to the MySQL database section and you can actually start creating databases. If you know how to write PHP, you can actually interface with the, with the database that you can put in there. You can make users, databases, and add users to databases. A lot of freedom you've got there. Next thing I'll show you here is you've got FTP accounts. Um, sometimes some service providers only give you one FTP account, but see, I can create new FTP accounts there. That's my default um, FTP account, and there's the information to access that default FTP account. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to open Core FTP, and we're going to access my website via that uh, There you go, via that ftp.alexwest.890.com. So open Core FTP, which is, in my estimation, the best free uh, FTP client out there. So that's how I need to put into FTP a uh, host name there. My username is the same as uh, the cPanel information there, so copy that over. Same with the password. Click the Connect button, and there I am in my website. Uh, it, that public HTML folder that you can see right there, that's where that index.php file is. But I have complete access to the to the root of my website there. I can do anything I want. And finally, this is the site software. This is what I, I don't quite understand because this isn't exactly Fantastico. It looks like almost like Fantastico, but it's not quite. So you saw PHP BB there. It's got Mambo as well, which is the precursor to Joomla. It's not Joomla. They said they can do Joomla, but I don't see that here. So I'm not really convinced that uh, that this is great, this auto-installer. I, I, I was never particularly fond of Fantastico in the first place, and this is not even really Fantastico, even, this, even though they say it is. Um, so, you know, you might want to play with it. There's some good things you can put in there. So what can you get at 000webhost.com? Well, the first thing is if you have a registered domain name that you paid for, you can point that over for free web hosting at 000webhost.com. Then you get a nice, pretty domain name and free web hosting. The other option is what I did is to use one of their free subdomain names, which isn't pretty in the URL, but it's free, and then use their free hosting service. Now, their hosting service, like I said, has MySQL, has PHP, cPanel. It's really quite powerful and gives you a lot of freedom. But, well, free web hosting is a little bit sketchy, of course. You're not going to get the same level of tech support, if any at all. And, you know, you might wake up one day just to find that the entire project has been abandoned and your website is scrubbed. There's nothing you can do about that. If you're serious about your website, if you registered a domain name and you want uptime and that's what, you, that's what you're really after. Well, I really recommend that you spring less than 4 bucks a month. It's going to cost you for a serious hosting plan. But, you know, Triple Zero Web Host is a lot of fun. A lot of productivity can be made there. You can make really good sites. Uh, I really recommend that you check it out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Alex West.